Thank you, Maurice. Yes, I'm here with Irina Bulmaga, one of the leading players in the world, uh, the top Romanian player and a good friend of mine. Irina, welcome back uh, to Bucharest. Actually, this is your home city. How does it feel to see all these top players in your home city? It is uh, just amazing to see all of them playing here. I've never experienced this before and I'm just cheering for our guys and I hope that they can play their best chess here and yeah, that feels amazing. Uh, we've had a lot of problems during the past year and a half with the pandemic as chess players. How did you handle that? And we know that you just played an over the board tournament. How did that feel coming back to over the board chess? Well, it definitely was a challenge to keep going through this year because uh, every time you think, okay, prepare for the next tournament, but which one is the next tournament? So I actually took up some different things. So I did some courses and stuff like that, but it felt amazing to be uh, at the chessboard again. And I'm just looking forward to more tournaments. And meanwhile, I hope that the preparation, which is uh, keeping the games and analyzing them uh, will, uh, will do well for me. Speaking of preparation, did you usually uh, prepare openings or did you uh, focus on other aspects of the game during the uh, pandemic, let's say? Because we had uh, Leveronian and he was saying that for the rapid events that he was playing, the opening preparation didn't really matter too much. Well, actually, I've tried to change a lot in the opening part of my preparation, but I did other things as well. Um, but, um, well, I guess I'm a player who is uh, based a lot on openings, and that's probably my biggest strength, that I'm very flexible as a chess player when choosing those openings. And I have uh, like a big pleasure finding those novelties and seeing, uh, well, uh, I believe this uh, game of Lupu today might be one where uh, we could yes. see some novelties. Absolutely, <laughs> since uh, I have you here on the set, let's actually have a look at this game. You were mentioning during the break that you've actually played uh, this position with Grishchuk's wife. <laughs> yes, uh, I just played the women's uh, FIDE Grand Prix in Gibraltar and there with the black pieces I played against the Katerina Lachno, this uh, classic Sicilian, which uh, turned up into a rouser later. Though she chose uh, here uh, instead of F4, she chose uh, uh, to play the plan with F3. And uh, well, that was uh, a tough game she won in the end. What are the differences between F4 and F3 in terms of, uh, let's say, plans? What are the immediate differences? Uh, well, actually, uh, after F3, white basically goes mostly for G4s and uh, H4s and stuff like that. Okay, Katarina played H4 against me instead of G4, and then I played H6, bishop E3, H5, and then eventually the bishop return. At some point, bishop of 6 would come on the board. Somehow the center here is uh, more stable than in the ones with F4. Uh, but on the other hand, when white plays f4, there is this uh, idea of playing f5 and then the defense. Of, of course, <laughs> you, you probably know even better because I know you like to play the open Sicilian. I have no? to say, I have to say, I played this the last time, maybe 10, 15 years ago with the white pieces before I started playing d4. And the only game that I remember is a game that I lost in one of the most important games of my life in some European championship. Mm -hmm and that just haunts me. So I don't like seeing this type of structures, at least with the white pieces. But uh, right now we have this position on the board. Lupulescu seems to be playing quite quickly. Uh, do you have any experience training with him? Did you teach him this? <laughs> no, actually I didn't, but I know that, uh, that he should be well prepared here. And uh, uh, I believe uh, and that he has a great position here because, well, the knight on g3 is really not well placed while playing for the d5 square, and that's like uh, the main downside of having this uh, e5 on board. The bishop is also not on, on that diagonal, I mean on a2, g8, so uh, I definitely like the prospects of black. I mean, a5, a4 is coming, and I'm hoping for, uh, for some good results for some excitement. Our players. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> some excitement on the board on this one. Now that you're back to over the board chess, what are your plans for uh, this year? Uh, well, actually today I'm heading to the Romanian uh, National uh, Team Blitz and Rapids Championship. And then uh, I will be playing the World Cup in Sochi. And actually uh, there are a lot of us Romanians going there. So there will be four of us. And I hope uh, some of us can go as far as possible. I definitely plan to try that. <laughs> Super busy uh, tournament schedule. Very exciting to see you back on the board. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Guys, back to you.